he's physical in the sense that he, he breaks up everything. He's got a nickname, The Hoover. My name is Henry The Hoover. I'm going back to the nickname, Henry The Hoover. Do, mm -hmm. do you call him that as you're passing the ball to him in training, was it? <laughs> no, but it's just like a throwaway sort of thing. Are you going to do both of the cards? Eh, course, but no. What's happening, boys, and welcome to the Manchester 2D. Oh my god. Not 2D, but 3D. <laughs> to the Manchester City versus the champions of England. That is right, Liverpool. As much as it probably pains City supporters to admit that, Liverpool have gone ahead and done it and have won the league. Uh, and EA have gone ahead and done it and released two very interesting looking cards. Now, the Summer Showdowns are obviously cards. You could do both of them. Um, you could do one of them. You could do none of them. But... In this episode, we're actually going to look at both cards. We finished both of them on the account. Uh, the last Summer Showdown I did, I only did uh, Diaby on both accounts. He's still not upgraded for whatever reason. The, the match was on Saturday. Uh, Leverkusen ended up winning against Mines, uh, but for whatever reason, uh, that card is still sitting there looking like a 92 rated, and we're all waiting very anxiously for that uh, 92 to turn into a 95. But today, it is all about this Fabinho card, a.k. Fabinho, uh, who some people are wondering if they should even do if they have an Endombele. And then you've got the likes of a Philly Fod uh, who's only just 20 years old uh, and people are considering possibly doing him as well uh, has some ridiculous ridiculous uh, stats on his card in terms of attacking and then Fabinho, uh, Fabinho is obviously the more defensive oriented option even though he does have some cheeky attacking stats as well so that's what we're going to look at today hopefully you guys' Monday is getting off to a cracking start if you guys are Liverpool or City supporters I suppose this is an incredible start now the only the, one of the reasons that this is an interesting showdown is because the game is meaningless right uh, Liverpool have already won the league uh, it's a match between Liverpool and City. I suppose maybe they're not going to field their complete lineups. Maybe they just use it, use it as a testing ground for young players, the likes of uh, Philly Foden, who uh, possibly could get some starting time there. So we're going to jump right into it, boys. Like I always say, if these episodes help you in some way, shape, or form, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So we'll take it, Fabinho. We'll take a look at Fabinho first. Uh, interesting little fact about Fabinho's card: you can't get him in a club 90. If you put the sh if you put the Hunter Kemp style on him, the way his stats are lined up even if you put the hunter because he's got 99 penalties and 98 shot power the the stats don't get jacked off enough in order for that 88 uh that 87 to go up to a 90 so that's a fun little fact about his card that he can't uh, truly get into a club 90 the engine chem style i think makes the most sense for him because it does get uh it does get his acceleration sprint speed jacked off the passing stats go off a little bit um and then the dribbling stats which need a little bit of help in terms of agility and balance go up as well i saw a couple people um suggest some interesting ideas about possibly using him as a center back because he has medium high work rates and just because he looks like he would be an elite level center back and something that's something that people have already done with his 86 rated card um and then 98 stamina 90 aggression so uh sorry 90 98 stamina 90 strength 95 aggression ridiculous ridiculous looking card can even take penalties the only downside i suppose would be is that he's a he's a three star three star but everything else is just just fits, and I hate to use this word, but fits the meta of FIFA 20 and is just an absolute tank. I mean, four stats, uh, four face stats in the 90s, five including uh, the the pace. If you include what happens to the engine, uh, what happens to the pace when you include the engine chem style on it. So uh, we've got the Philly Fodden card. I'm actually not going to touch his card with a chem style four star, four star, left footed, high medium, five seven. Gets green links into uh, gets green links to obviously every city player, most notably that 97 David Silva. If you guys were able to complete that 93 acceleration goes over 90 sprint speed attacking stats for days passing stats really nice with the 99 short passing and the 92 long passing uh with the vision is very very solid as well and then the dribbling stats the negative here would be how's that reaction's gonna uh how's how are the reactions gonna affect his card so we're gonna take a look at that uh and then also the physical stats 99 stamina with 85 aggression so a very very decent attacking looking card so you got your attacking card and then you got your, your defensive card and we've obviously got that in on over there if, if you're looking for a defensive rock I'd say Fabinho is probably it he's uh Endombele's medium medium some people don't like that about him and like I said again he does have the four star skill moves uh, so there's that but Fabinho I think he's just one of those guys that's just going to be just so difficult to get by even with the uh, 77 agility which gets jacked, jacked off over to uh 82 with the uh with the engine chem style obviously wanted to link him into my two two of my favorite center backs in the game we're going to get into a couple matches here. We're going to switch to the 4 triple 2 and see how these boys perform. Philly Fodden's going to be Ram, uh, and then Fabingo's going to be our, our, our right, center, uh, right center defensive mid. Match number one, vamos. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the dribbling. I think this is the closest we're going to get to that Ryan Kent. <laughs> Not in draft. 
I mean, he's got some nice dribbling stats. Let's, let's check out Fabinho. Yeah. All right. So I think the 86, the 86 uh, Fabinho had a 69 pace on his card. There we go, Philly. And his ability to cut from, like, to do this. Ready? Hold on. Not this. I mean, it's a nice body feint, but... This, 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 this. His ability to chop and lose players is actually very impressive. So I guess the question I would have for you guys is who do you think is going to win the match? If you're choosing one. If you had to choose one, who are you choosing and why? There we go. That's the Marcus Rashford we know and love. Uh, what did I get with Marcus Rashford in Weekend League? In 30 games of Weekend League, I scored 18 goals with 21 assists. Is the port... <laughs> is the port stock in yes? Is that, a, is, that, is that a real nickname for Philly Foden? Ball's up in the air. Defoe! Woo! Philly! Philly Foden! To Marcus Rashford, but Marcus Rashford and Philly Foden, in terms of English, uh, in terms of uh, the English links at this stage, if you're trying to hybridize, not a bad shout. Combined age, 40, which is ironically the same age as Nick. Got him. An absolute monster. Can we just please reflect on the fact that both these SPCs go for about 130, 140,000 coins? Which, for what you're getting, even with the 92s, I would argue, is ridiculous. And then you're also getting this, uh, you're getting this extended chance of um, one of them going up to a 95. Doing both of these SPCs is actually cheaper than the Bobby Firmino. Oh my god. And like, as much as I love that Bobby Firmino, right? I think it was just a little bit too much to pay for 5-star, five 5-star. Five star. Phil Foden. Tienen la boche se van volando. See, the great thing about Philly Foden is you can just kind of like, you can skate around players with, without even having to use his five, uh, four star week, uh, four star skill moves. Cracked. His card's cracked. Hey, listen, if you're looking for an attacking option, if you're looking for a cam that can play like a winger, if you're looking for a cam that can play like a, uh, like a, I was about to say a clam. Oh my God. Reasonability or whatever the hell that word I'm trying to find that you would do both. Look at Philly. Look at Philly and the Danny Ng stepping up with the Golazo. 4 0. And dude, he just, uh, Philly Fodden just leaves. Philly, Philly Fodden says, hey, I, my, my work here is done. Peace. Sunshun? Yeah, he's out of here. Yeah, so Philly Fodden gets a goal, provides two assists, uh, dribbles completed 14 out of 19. Fabinho, with the perfect, uh, perfect dribble past, uh, perfect dribbling rating, uh, does not pro provide a goal or an assist, but uh, tackles one, one out of three. If this Fodden card gets a 95, bruh. Referee, have a word. Holding on 78 white. Danny Ings. Good boss, he put a zero. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This Philly Fodden card is absolutely cracked. This Philly card is absolutely banjack slapped. Like, Can you bro. Just please drive you something? Nice, bro. Nice, bro. There's a tank. More than anything, man, the dribbling stats are... Look at the strength. Yeah, nice try. Look at the pace now. <laughs> He's a tank. He's a tank with legs. What am I doing? Why can't we all get along with this? 
It doesn't matter what your Premier League allegiance is. Whether you support Southampton, Bournemouth, Manchester City, or Liverpool, we can all get along, boys. I have never seen a more embarrassing display in my entire career. <laughs> please don't air this, okay? Please don't, don't air this. You won't air this, right? Oh, no, no, we definitely air it. We always wrong. air it, no matter what we air. That's how we do it, my friend. Wrong. Good night, everybody. This Thanks for joining us here on Family Fights. Take care. Well, I 100% regret not doing that Rafinha. All right, so we don't get any goals from Philly Fodden. We do get an assist and then tackles one. We get a perfect five out of five from Fabinho. Uh, what, what happened? Bruno Fernandez. Here we go. Boy, intervention. Let's intent that no for a costado. Yo creo que están a unos 4 o 5 toques más de que esto se convierte en una vergüenza para el rival. What an absolute Todo tank. You, I think you guys can kind of get a feeling for what I'm about to say. Like, if you're on the fence about who to do, I don't know. I mean, like, like we just literally had that Bruno Fernandes, right? Because the fact we had the Bruno Fernandes card, does that mean that, you, like, you shouldn't do this Philly Fodden? But I think that's what I'd say between the two cards. The Fabinho plays how you would expect him to play. The Philly Fodden exceeds how you would expect him to play. Showcase those legs. Danny Ings. There's, that's, that's the strength. Don't air this. You won't air this, right? Oh, no, no. We definitely air it. We always air it, no matter what we air. That's how we do it, my friend. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Para quedarse con la pelota. Rápida transición al ataque. Y ahí está. Dude, you, dude, David Luiz would never make that sort of play. This is supposed to be a realistic simulation of FIFA, bro. This, this man, Arsenal just, Arsenal just signed this man to a year-long extension. Bro, are you kidding me? Oh my, it's always the last minute too. It's always the absolute trash, trash last minute goal. I was more impressed with Foden. He was the guy that surprised me more. And then Fabinho just kind of did what I feel like a Fabinho would do. Uh, I am going to give both these cards a four out of five, even with the 92, whatever rating that they are right now. Obviously, they're both 92, uh, but they're um, they're they're coming in at, at a price around averaging 140, 150. I would say the value is pretty decent there, given that you're also uh, have a pretty much 50, 50 percent chance of getting a card that's going to go up to 95. So value 100 percent four out of five. In terms of on the pitch performance um i'll say this about uh i'll say th i'll say this about philly fodden's card he was very very good finishing and then the dribbling stats more than anything reactions i didn't find to be a big issue i know some people are going to maybe swerve that sbc because of reactions i can tell you uh reactions i didn't feel any issues with the with the card in terms of uh holding on to the ball or receiving it or anything that felt like it would have to do with reactions uh so i'm going to give him a four to five uh, on the Infinity Gauntlet, and then I also am going to give a kind of a Boring's Way view just because these guys lived up to their stats, so there's, I can't give them perfect ratings because I don't think that they're, uh, I don't think that the card exists in game, uh, but I am going to give the uh, Fabinho a 4 to 5 as well, uh, and if I'm picking one, I can't, I can't decide. I, if I'm picking one, if I'm being honest with you, because you can get them done for about 300k together, I'm probably doing both. But that's going to do it for the episode here, boys. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I'll catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.